Hey everyone, I'm Logan Ramsey with East Idaho News, and I'm here at the INL Emergency Operations Center. Right now, they're running an emergency exercise to practice how they would respond to an emergency situation. Uh, so we're going to head in here and check it out and see what they're doing. To learn more about the different offices responding to the simulated emergency, I spoke with Carissa Schultz, the INL Emergency Management Public Liaison. In the command room, you have senior leadership. They provide support to the emergency director and anyone else who has questions about processes, off-site notifications, uh, any type of emergency management-centric activities. In the public information room in the Emergency Operations Center, that's where all of the official information is gathered to disseminate to media, the public, and stakeholders. Schultz told me about the Joint Information Center, which is also located in the same building as the EOC. It is the arm that tells people what's happening. They're communicating real time with the media and the public who have questions about what's happening at our site. In an emergency situation, it may feel like information isn't coming fast enough, but there is a reason for that. Our biggest concern is really less about the time factor, but more about the actual information that's going out and that it's accurate and factual. INL even made the effort to close out the practice response with a faux press conference. Employees post as reporters and we ask questions as if the scenario had actually taken place. Well, I think you practice something you get better at it, right? And I think I think all of the different groups across the site take it seriously. A lot of the subject matter experts that came up and spoke, they don't do this every day. They don't speak in front of a camera. This is a way for them to practice in sort of a safe environment, but in an environment that is as close to realistic as we can get it. The vast majority of emergencies at INL are wildland fires, so I wanted to go out and meet the people that tackle those emergencies head on. One of them is Fire Chief Jim Blair. This is our team. We have, when we're fully staffed, we have 90 firefighters. We have 22 on duty. 24-7, um, 365. Those 90 firefighters are tasked with responding to emergencies that happen within their 890 square miles of coverage. Notice that I said emergencies because they don't just respond to fires. The department also answers EMS calls. Our firefighters have to be trained to a high level to be able to handle pretty much any emergency that gets thrown at them. The department's 20-year average is about five wildfires burning about 14,000 acres a year. And in order to fight those fires, firefighters need an efficient way to move water across the desert. Water shuttling operations on the desert is very difficult and it takes, um, it takes a lot of resources. This is a 3,000 gallon water tender. Firefighters will shuttle water out into the desert and fill this up so that engines have a source to pull from. And, and INL doesn't just bring water to the fight. They plan ahead to protect infrastructure by using fire resistant material. We have two different types that we've used out here. One is a paintable fire retardant and uh, that's what we see here. We also have a mesh product. When a fire blows through, it expands at a very rapid pace and prevents the fire from doing any damage to the pole. Using this material helps keep firefighters safe while also equipping them with another tool in their toolbox to protect critical infrastructure. Through this training and qualification of the emergency response organization, they are teams. And in fact, the teamwork, everyone has to work together in order for our organization to function. At the INL, I'm Logan Ramsey with East Idaho News.